and I want to talk about Venus aspecting Neptune in the birth chart. So first of all, how do you know if you have this? You have to do your birth chart and you have to look at the signs that your planets are in, so for Venus and Neptune, and the degrees of those signs. So let's say you have Venus at 20 degrees of Aries and Neptune at 20 degrees of Capricorn. That is an exact square. So you would have this aspect. Or if you have Venus at 25 degrees Capricorn and Neptune at 25 degrees of Capricorn, that's a conjunction. You have Venus conjunct Neptune in your birth chart. And so this would apply. So what does it mean? Venus is our love nature and how we value ourselves, uh, how we value others, what we value, um, how we feel self-worth, how we express love. Did I say that already? Okay, so then Neptune is illusion. Neptune is dreams. Neptune is our spiritual nature. And Neptune is also where we can be really confused about stuff and being ruled by Pisces. So we can be a little bit self-sacrificing here. So people that have an aspect between Neptune and Venus ultimately are capable of the highest form of love out there. Pure, unconditional love to another human. And not everybody, I mean, everybody could be capable of this, but not everybody in this lifetime maybe will get to that point, or maybe they will, depending on how many people open their hearts. But this person is born with their heart wide open to all the suffering and to all of the good qualities of people. So a Venus Neptune person is going to look for the positive qualities in people. But they might not always do it for themselves. So Venus is our self-worth, right? So our self-worth can kind of flip-flop a bit here with a Venus Neptune aspect. It can go to extremes where you're feeling really good about yourself um, or you're feeling really not and like other people are a lot better than you because Neptune is kind of like this ideal and so Venus Neptune people can kind of look at other people, look at models, look at movie stars and think oh wow like if I could only be as beautiful as that I mean everybody does this to a certain extent but with Venus Neptune this could cause some suffering so yeah another thing with Venus Neptune is they have the potential to be very spiritual. This, a hard aspect especially between Venus and Neptune is seen in the chart of spiritual students. Someone who has come to this life to learn unconditional love, to learn how to love all of humanity and open their heart center and just be a light in this world, okay? But their personal relationships are not always easy. In fact, they're usually difficult, and especially with a hard aspect, there is usually going to be some suffering in the love life. Um, almost always, I would say, with a hard aspect. there It's like there has to be some suffering in the love life for them to be able to get to this place of unconditional love, because unconditional love is, is actually loving someone unconditionally, even if they hurt you, okay? Because when someone hurts you, they're showing you a part of yourself that is weak and that can be hurt. And the way that we heal our hurts is by bringing in more love. So a Venus-Neptune person may go through a lot of heartbreaks and it may just seem they're meeting loser after loser person or, or just people that are hurting them or taking advantage of them. But it's ultimately, it's for them to learn boundaries. Okay, first of all, these people have no boundaries towards other people so they can get into some kind of sticky situations especially in relationships because they they don't really have a lot of boundaries um, but yeah it's about learning unconditional love even to that person that hurt you and it's it's about learning not to blame them and say oh poor me you know Pisces kind of can get into this trap like oh my relationships have been so difficult what is it I'm cursed or whatever no that's that's not the point of this aspect the point of this aspect is to rise above it and to realize that you are learning and growing from all these relationships and you are learning how to be love. Okay? So yeah, about these people's boundaries. So these are very open people. 
and they can be easily taken advantage of by others because they're so trusting of everybody. And really, they're seeing the spiritual nature of reality. They're seeing that we are all connected as souls. They're, they're understanding deep spiritual truths, like how everything is one, and, you know, all of these things that you could read about in spiritual books or whatever. But the thing is, is that if the rest of themselves is not totally grounded to the earth, um, this can get them into trouble because not everybody is at the same understanding as them. They might love unconditionally someone that never returns the affection and ignore all others just to be with this one person when really it's a delusion. Like, it's very common for a Venus-Neptune individual to, let's say, have hopes that the person at Starbucks is in love with them because they feel love towards them and think, oh, he said hi to me today. Oh, that's good. But this person could be married and have a family and have kids, but the Venus-Neptune person because they said hi or because they saw them today, they might think that they're totally in love with them, okay? So the Venus-Neptune person can have some delusions about love and it can really hold them back in life and they can actually push away every potential partner because it doesn't feel like some divine soulmate. It doesn't feel like this perfect relationship. They have this illusion that love is perfect, love is divine, love is everything. And they can actually yeah, love someone who's never returning that affection. And they won't listen to you if you try to say, oh, well, maybe he just doesn't like you. And the Venus-Neptune person won't even hear that. They'll say, no, it's because of this reason. It's because of that person. They will like me. It's all meant to be. We're soulmates, these kind of things. So you can have a hard time trying to tell them something like reality check. These people are not very realistic in relationships. Or another thing is like, they're dating someone who's a drug addict or something. And they're like, oh, they're going to get better. They're going to stop doing drugs. They're going to stop stealing my money. They're, they're going to become here and we're going to get married and have babies and all this is going to be great. But that may never happen. And this scenario can go on for a long time because Neptune creates this illusion, delusion about love and relationships, okay? So they have the capacity to see all the good in someone but if that someone is not working on actually changing and becoming a better person the Venus Neptune person can hurt themselves over and over again by putting a person on a pedestal and seeing this idealized image of them and seeing that they're gonna become different and, and then the Venus Neptune person will just continue suffering and not having an actual real relationship because they keep doing this okay and so I've, I've seen this a lot. I have this aspect in my chart. It's about a five degree orb, so it's not one of my closest aspects, but I definitely have seen it play out in my life. Like, for example, when I was about six years old, I was completely obsessed with the Beatles, and I was completely in love with Paul McCartney of the Beatles, and I was so determined that Paul McCartney was going to meet me one day, and we were going to be together forever. And this delusion went on for a few years like quite a while and I always just knew that we were going to be together and me and Paul McCartney that was and this was like serious to me like if anybody said anything like oh that will never happen like I I would just shrug it off like they don't know they don't know so <laughs> it's not uncommon for a Venus Neptune person to have some type of fantasy life like that okay and uh, my mom also has this aspect at zero degrees, very close. Um, and I've seen her go through some relationships. I'm not going to talk about her personal life on here, but like that have been hurtful to her and um, just confusing in general. So I have a lot of experience with this aspect just by seeing my mom live it and then also having it myself. And uh, having Venus in my first house to makes everything that's going on with Venus very much I'm aware of it so yeah another thing about Venus Neptune people that I have noticed is that they love fashion they love glamour they they love looking pretty and like myself included like getting their hair done and always like the beauty industry is really run by like a Venus Neptune sort of ideal okay so a lot of women like I've known a lot of ladies that are like hairdressers or makeup artists like that have a, a Venus Neptune aspect themselves so but the, the only trouble here is that 
Venus Neptune is always wanting perfection, and, and you're never going to quite feel perfect in your appearance. I, well, maybe you are, but, like, it's, it's not ever going to be totally perfect. Venus Neptune needs to let go of that ideal of perfect appearance, perfect relationship, this idea of perfection. And really what they're seeing is this spiritual idea that everything is perfect, and it is. But everything is perfect already. We don't have to go through some type of process here to become perfect. We already are perfect because we're souls and, yeah, and we're spirit. So we're perfect. And that's just, that's the end. And that's where Venus Neptune will ultimately get to if they become spiritual and have these realizations. Meditating can be really great for these people. All types of spiritual practices, really great. They can be great healers because they just, they have a huge capacity for love. It's just sometimes misdirected. Another thing to watch out for is drugs and drinking and indiscriminate sexual relationships. These people, especially when drugs and drinking can, because of their lack of boundaries, they can get into some situations where they're sexually being taken advantage of, okay? And they might not even know this, and they or they might not even care, because they really do not have a lot of boundaries here. So watch, watch out for that with this aspect, and learn how to stand up for yourself, and learn how to see people as they really are, and not who you want them to be. I mean, it's great. It's so good to see people for their highest and best qualities. It is. But if people are hurting you and if people are taking advantage of you, that's when you have to stop and you have to see realistically the situation. And that is really hard for people with a Venus-Neptune aspect. But there's a great capacity for love and a spiritual understanding of love and the energy of love. And that's what I'm going to say about this. I'm going to make another video about Venus, Neptune, Aspects, and Sinistry, because I know quite a bit about that, too. And that's my opinion on this aspect. I'm sure there's there's so much more, but that's just a little bit to start. This is already long, so anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.